Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. And today we have Lico 746, mean cost climbing stairs. For this question, as you know, it's climbing stairs, right? And then you can jump one step or two step on the stairs. And every time you step on the stair, there's a cost. So in this array, it's each stairs have each um, cost. So if you start at 10 and you have to collect it, this cost, the purpose of this stairs is you have to jump out of this stair. This is the top of the stair. So you can either start from 10 or 15. For this example, you can start from 10. So you need cost 10 and then you can jump one step. And now total is cost 25 and jump another step, 45 total. And then at this point, jump out the stair. Now it costs 45. So it could be faster. Start from 10, jump into 20. So it costs 30 or total. And then you jump out this. So that's 30. So which one is even faster? It's faster to start with 15 because you can start from here or here. Then you can start from 15 and jump two step and jump out of this stair. So you only cost 15 total. So is this question is asking the minimum cost of jumping out the stairs. And in here is the same, the second example, we can start with one, jump two step. This is two already and jump two step, three, jump another step, four, jump one step, five, and jump another two step, six, and then it's out. So this is the minimum cost for jumping this letter. Um, that's the question. So how do we uh, solve this problem? So the idea of this problem is could think about, uh, think about this place. This play can be jump from 10 or 15. So the idea of it is making the minimum cost uh, from the period step to this step. From here, we have it 10, we have it 15, just let it default. But this step, we can calculate it because it's the best way to jump from this step to here. So to get to this step, the total cost will be this 20 plus the minimum of the period two, so which is 10 here. To jump to here, the minimum cost is 30. So from this step, you can jump out from here. And then at the end, we are calculating the last two step, which is because you want to get out of here from this step, it could become from this step, last step or last second step. So we know to get to this step, it costs 30. And to get to this step, it only costs 15. So you need a 15 and you can get out of this loop, get out of these stairs. Now for the answer for this one will be the minimum of here, which is 15. So we, if, they have more step, we can just keep building on that based on the logic that we know. Let's take a look at this code. Now we have, we need a loop to loop through the whole entire array. We can skip first one and second one. Now we have i equal to zero i less than cost dot link. So if we just ignore the first and second number, if i equal to zero or i equal to one, then we um, we can ignore continue, right? And in now these two numbers is ignored. Next number will be processed is here. 
So this condition is gone. What else we need to do? So we have to override this current I. Now we at this point, we want to know how much cost for this and then override to cost I. Cost I is equal to cost I. Like, <laughs> sorry. And we know uh, this is 20, right? This local cost plus the minimum of the previous two, which is cost I minus one or cost I minus two. So now we updated how much cost if you come to this step. And we keep doing that until the end of the array. And now what we need to do is, um, we need to output the last, uh, the smallest um, requirement of this last step or last second step, which is cause cause dot link minus one, right? This is the last digit, last integer or cause dot link. Sorry, excuse me. Um, Where are you? Minus two. So the last one and the last second one will be the step requirement. Hopefully it's clear enough. And I think that's it for this question. Yeah. Uh, so if you still have question, please comment it below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise I will see you in the next video. Bye.